So what if you could have one last word with a lost loved one? Our next guest is here to help you do just that. That's right. Welcome spiritual medium and life guide Phil Quinn to CT Style, along with Corporate Director of Research here at WTNH and Media General, Tony Marinero. Welcome both of you to CT Style. Thank, Thank you. you. Absolutely. So Phil, let's talk a little bit about your, your talent here that you have. Yep. Well, my gift basically works um, as you see and hear me, I see and hear the other side. And as they're ready to contact, they'll come through, they'll say who they are, how they died, their relationship to you, mm -hmm. and they'll give um, information about your life, whatever you're seeking. So they kind of find you if yes. they want to make some sort of Well, connection. they know you're coming to see me, so they that's ah. how they find me. They channel. Yeah. So, yep. so is this something you just woke up one day and said, oh, I can talk to the dead? Or? Uh, pretty much. Um, <laughs> my, I got this gift July 29th, 1985. That was how I recognized it. My grandmother came to visit me. She had been sick in the hospital, and then she had died. And then I was able to see her for the, the three days that we... Um, we keep the body in the house for three days and three nights. And on those three days, she continuously visited me and started to give me messages. And that, that was the beginning of the process. But the, I'm, I'm assuming the rest of your family did not. So you... Correct. And, yep. and, and, what, and what was that like for you? I mean, that, that had to be pretty terrifying. eye opening. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was terrifying. I mean, did your parents and believe you? I never told anyone until I was 18. Oh, wow. So that's why I think my gift progressed to where it is today, because there was nobody uh, suppressing it. Mm. So there was nobody telling me, no, you're not seeing anything, or no, you're not hearing anything. I kept it all to myself. Now, can you shut it off yeah. if you need to? No, it's always on, and um, it, it's kind of like, you know, having multiple radios on at one time, and when you want to focus on something, you drown the other ones out, and then you focus on that one that's that's most loudest, so. It's kind of like what Teresa does to me here in the studio. She just <laughs> drains me out. Yeah. Or, yeah. or Tony, yeah, I, nice. I yeah. sit next to Tony here. Yeah. He's always playing jazz music yeah. up there, and, and so, Tony, uh, today, you, you were able to communicate with a few family members. Yes, um, uh, Phil was able to connect with my father-in-law, my grandfather and one of my wife's aunts. Mm. All right. That's well, great. have you ever had a reading before? First time ever. And ever. were you pleased or impressed? <laughs> well, it, it was very exciting and very unique, yeah. and it was very interesting. You know, um, if you talk, if you start with my father-in-law, he was um, gone uh, much too soon, mm -hmm. and he had a big part in our family. So I kind of expected that he would come he through. Uh, now, my grandfather, I haven't seen him since I was six. So it's been wow. a very long time, and Phil had mentioned that he has been my guide through through my life, and I thought that was very uh, That's nice. Right? And it is to know that you know I haven't seen him for all these years, but he's always been with me. Sure. So that was very nice. Well, we have a video here of Tony's father-in-law uh, communicating with Tony. Take a look. Just he's saying happy birthday. It's somebody's birthday. It's my it's my stepdaughter's birthday yep. coming uh, next week. Yep. Karen. He's, he says, "Tell everybody I'm okay." Okay. He says, I've made it over just fine. Okay. He says, I love you all. We love him too. He says, I miss you guys. He tells me, but he wasn't ready to cross over at all. No, he didn't so, want to go. No, he, he says, uh, unfortunately, he says, this disease got the better off me. So he mentioned to you that it was someone's birthday? Yeah, he mentioned it was his birthday. And the other thing he was mentioning was that um, his condition was environmental. It wasn't genetic to him, um, in which we suspect that he was exposed to asbestos throughout the years, and this is what gave him the lung cancer. Oh. So one of the things I was asking was he smoking, and it's not, it wasn't smoke, it was uh, environmental, so. And you knew that? Yeah, or yeah he, he, he was a plumber, oh. and, you know, back in the 40s and 50s, sure. you know, people did things that they don't mm. do now, and... That got the better part of him. Wow, uh, that's amazing how you can communicate like this. And yeah. and uh, all jokes aside, you're you're sitting there with a pen. What are you doing yeah. when you <laughs> when an, you do that? It's I, I don't know if it's habit any longer or if I don't have it, I just can't hear. But it helps me hear the other side initially. It drowns out all the sounds around me and it allows me to focus simply on their voices, mm. um, because when they come through. They don't come through word by word. It comes in packages of information. So they're very loud. They're very fast, and um, they're they're very excited in order to talk. So I got to try and get out as much information as I possibly can. Specifically in this setting, you know, we, we're limited to time. Sure. Do the voices so, sound different? Can you absolutely? They're did, okay. yep. It's just like if you and I are talking versus you and I are talking. Wow. Yeah, yeah, okay. male and female, and you know, however the personality is, that will come through. We have a, another video here of Tony's grandfather communicating, so take a peek at this. So that's Nicholas. Yep, he's here. And what's he have to so say? He's, he's quite funny. He's a big presence. Oh, he was so a character. He yeah. He says, I love you. I haven't seen him since. A long time. Yeah, he died in yeah. 1971. Yep, he's been gone a long time. So he's there too. Yep. He's, he he says, watches over me. We, he says, we all, he's actually your primary guide. 
So he's the person that does the majority of the watching over you and your family. This is my grandfather. So, yeah, yep. Yeah. So he says, I just want to tell you how proud I am of you. He says, send our love to everybody. Wow, that's incredible. Nice. What a nice thing to hear it after is. all these years. It very is. So, so you yeah. had a close connection with him? Well, like I said, as, as a um, I've always looked up to him. But again, take it back, six years old, I had a very short time with the man. Mm -hmm. But, you know, being Italian, family is very important. Sure. He was a big part of my family growing yeah, up. Yeah, he's sweet. And then we have one final uh, person that Tony was able to communicate with through Phil is Aunt Mary. Who's the gambler? Gambler. Mm hmm Passed over. Male? Female? Mm -hmm. I hear cards being shuffled. Oh, that mm -hmm. could be Mary. She used mm -hmm. to play cards. Yep. Aunt Mary used yep. to play cards. She says, I, I want you to know we're all together. She says, we watch over the family all the time. Yeah, well, it's a big Italian family. Yeah. You all watch she says, we've nothing to warn you about. You guys are doing great. She says, we just want you to be happy. So wow. Aunt Mary was a gambler. She, yeah. she okay. liked playing cards, huh? <laughs> okay, so Aunt Mary is my wife's aunt. She was a bigger-than-life personality. She was actually the first select woman of Cromwell. Oh, really? Okay. So, uh, yeah, and she was a gambler. She liked her cards. She liked her casino. And she was a really nice lady. And we actually lost her recently, just a year ago. Yep. Oh. So, I'm sorry to hear that. But well, it's, no. it's, what has this experience been like for you, it, It's It's yeah. been no, very eye-opening and enlightening. And I do appreciate the opportunity to, to do that. Mm -hmm. But yeah. it's, uh, it's very nice. And like I said, it's very reassuring sure. to know that, that they are all together and that they are watching over. Yeah. And Phil, where can we get a hold of you? You can go to philquinn.com. We'll do it. Uh, yep. Thanks Thank so much you. for Thanks being for here. Thanks for having us. Sure, a lot of Thank people you. will yep. be checking that out now. Coming up.